Right, hello, my name is Alan and welcome to my tutorial on how to speedrun generation 1 and 2 of Pokemon on emulator. I see a lot of beginners recently struggle with this, I thought I might as well quickly record a video to help you get started. As a heads up, any link I'll be using in this video will also be in the video description, so go check that out. So. The only emulator that's allowed for generation 1 and 2 Pokemon speedruns is Gambit Speedrun. It's an emulator made by community members specifically for this for these runs. So, first of all, we're gonna go ahead to GiftTop and download the emulator. Just gonna go, go scroll down here and download the PSR version. It's very important that you're gonna download this version here. Um, because the other one is not not valid for speedruns. So yeah, gonna download this. So you're always gonna find the most recent release of Gambit right here on GitHub. They frequently release new versions with quality of life updates and uh, emulation accuracy updates. So it should always be on the most recent version of Gambit. All right, we're gonna really quickly Drop this on our desktop and start it up. Oh, it's taking a second right here. All right, first of all, <laughs> we're gonna go and put the volume at 33 because it blasted my ears away earlier when I tried to record this video. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do here now is try to open the ROM. I cannot contribute any ROMs in this video, so you're gonna have to find those on your own, sadly. So, gonna go in here and try to um, open up the red ROM. So, this won't work immediately. Because, right here, aha, Gambit Speedrun requires a GPC bias for the selected platform. So, this uh, bias you can actually find. You can find it right here. Again, link in the description. I'm gonna download this. You need to file with uh, .bin at the end too. So, I'm gonna go and also put this on my uh, on the desktop, so you can actually see what's happening. Wait, what did I just do? Whatever. It's on the desktop. And, aha, loaded the GBC bias successfully. So, this time, I'm gonna really quickly set the window size to this and try again to open up a ROM. Oh, yeah, this always happens. Uh, we really quickly have to set my device here. Aha! Now we actually started it up, and um, what you did just see, wait, wait, I'm gonna pause real quick. Here in the bottom left, you're seeing this string. This string uh, shows the ID of your ROM. This ID needs to be exactly as shown here for each game, otherwise your ROM is faulty and therefore your ROM is gonna be invalid. I'll have a, a image up with every single string ID for the four main games uh, we're, t we're talking about here in post-production. But yeah, those need to add up, it, those need to match up. Otherwise your ROM is faulty and not legit. Okay, so we start a ROM. That worked. What we're gonna do next is go into settings and inputs. So the thing you need to set uh, are, are these here? You got. I'm playing on. Em, uh, I'm playing on controller, so you're gonna see me find everything to um, to my Xbox controller. Okay, all these and play, and then you also want this one hard reset, also mapped on your uh, on your uh, input device. So yeah, I'm gonna put up my. 
So you can actually see that everything is working. On pause. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna pause again. Alright, so now it would actually be good to go. And everything is working now. You also see the version up here and what Gambati version you're running on. So yeah, now you would be good to go. But I have one more thing I kind of want to talk about um, before you leave. And that's a feature called Quick Load and Quick Save, which is massively going to increase the efficiency of your practice early on. Especially with manips and, uh, and menus and so on. So to do that, I need to quickly rearrange, rearrange my setup for, so I'm going to be right back. All right, before we come into the next step, we are going to real quickly head into settings and inputs. And here in the, into the state header. So, what we want to keybind is save state, load state, and then you usually just, you can also bind previous state, I usually just keep it to load state. Alright, so, quick load and quick save is a feature of Gambit that allows you to load up new save states in a matter of seconds. The emulator has 10 slots for save states to choose from to fulfill all your needs for practice. Here you can see all my quick save for Pokemon Red, for example. So. You can switch from them within a matter of seconds. I have some for like tricky movement, like here, Victory Road. Some for Yolo Balls, like here, the Paris Yolo Ball. And some for Minips, just such as Full Moon Minip. So, now most of you are gonna want to learn the Minips at first, right? So, I'm gonna show you quickly how to get started with that. Pause this real quick. Then I'm gonna show you how to get your how to get those save states I'm, I will be using now. You go to the leaderboard section, then the resources. Then you're gonna find under the save state header, you're gonna find save states with my name on them. I'm gonna download these and extract them. I've already done this since they're obviously mine, so we're gonna skip that right now. <laughs> now we're gonna head in, now we're gonna unpause, gonna head into load save state from. Oh, uh, where's my start section here? And we're gonna go into manips. And for this example, I'm gonna just do the 7 a press nitro manip. Since that's most, what most of you probably gonna wanna start with. So, to practice this manip, first of all you need to know how to buffer, but I'll explain that in a different video. This is just for the movement and the A presses. So, face. I'll quickly show you my inputs again, so you see that I'm actually buffering the intro. Then right at the end, after... Oh, right, um... <laughs> I messed this up, I was holding something through the game on the screen, don't do that. Alright, buffering the intro, and at the end, after the... When the uh, continuous screen fades to white, you're gonna wanna press save state as... Uh, quick save. Here we go. Now you can practice, and I will just... Uh, fail this on purpose. So here... Oh, didn't get it, damn. But I can immediately jump back by pressing quick save. And try it again. See? And you can see this, this way you can practice your movement without actually having to do the intro all over again. And that's just a really efficient way to practice these manips and pretty much anything else. So, for example, this movement or the YOLO balls are really important. All of them on the save state folder I linked earlier but yeah also f if you want to play yellow there are also save states there find them real quick here also on the resources tab pseudo trainer those are the ones you got you want to download sadly there are no save states for 
generation 2 yet, but I hope to change that in the future, so keep an eye out on that. So, I think we actually talked about everything I want to talk about. So, um, I think we're done here for now. I want to put out more content like this to help beginners get started with speedruns. I'm probably going to start off with Pokemon Red and work my way towards yellow, gold, and crystal. So I would appreciate if you left a subscription if you're interested in that. And a thumbs up would also be appreciated. One thing I can also uh, su suggest to anyone getting started is to join PSR Discord. Show the stream here. That's the place where all the runners come together. And you can also find uh, very useful links here in the pinned messages for each game. It's pretty much all you need to know uh, are up here. Also, we just opened up a uh, community Discord uh, for my stream. So if you also, if you want to ask any questions, um, feel free to join. Links to both those discords also in the description. I think that's it from me for now. So I appreciate you watching the video. I hope I could help you out. I've seen a lot of people struggle with this. And yeah. Subscriptions would be appreciated, but are not necessary in any need. And I hope to see you another day with another tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and see you around. Goodbye.